Hi. Um, all sorts for us to talk about, but well, let's talk about Turkey. What are we going to do to the help? Well, obviously, it's a tragic events that have unfolded um, overnight and we'll be offering um, assistance uh, required and working with other countries too uh, to give the assistance that, that they need. So I, I, I know that um, Cabinet colleagues will be looking at this first thing this morning. OK, what do you know about it so far? Well, we just know that there's obviously been uh, an earthquake and there's been a number of people who've been killed and are missing um, and uh, help is going into to finding uh, what support Tur Turkey needs at this time. Um, indeed, so we're hearing that um, many hundreds of people have sadly lost their lives. We are blessed in this country with not really being particularly impacted by earthquakes. This area, though, very much is. A lot of the properties are um, not really up to the challenges that you would expect to withstand an earthquake. We know that some of the uh, runways for uh, airports have uh, been devastated. It's going to be tricky to help. What do we do immediately? Well, there, there, it will be tricky to help, but I think um, if you look at the help we've given other countries in similar situations in the past, we're, we're quite experienced in terms of getting into places where, say, airports are down uh, and where access is difficult. Uh, and we've got a number of uh, means of access in terms of whether that's flying in support um, or whether in the longer term um, getting uh, support in uh, by sea as well. But the first... Uh, uh, priority is to make contact uh, with Turkey, which is being done, to ask them what help they need and to get them the resources that, that will support them um, over the coming hours and days. OK, that will, of, of course, uh, involve um, medics, um, which brings me on to what's happening here at home today. Notices an ambulance worker striking uh, again. They say that they have heard absolutely nothing from Rishi Sunak um, or Steve Barclay. How to resolve this on pass? Well, I'd slightly disagree with them that they haven't been uh, meeting with the Secretary of State. During January, he held almost weekly meetings with Didn't a range of health unions. Uh, he w I mean, I take your point uh, on pay. Before Christmas, that was not necessarily on the agenda. But since Christmas, absolutely pay and working conditions have been on the agenda. We're very keen to talk about the forthcoming uh, year's pay award uh, in terms of us submitting evidence as a government and the unions submitting theirs. Um, and the slight disappointment is we're in exactly the same place as Scotland in wanting to talk about the forthcoming uh, pay award. Uh, the RCN have suspended strikes in Scotland, but not in England. And what I would say to Pat Cullen, who I respect very much, and the RCN, is if, you, if they've suspended strikes in Scotland to discuss uh, the forthcoming pay award, um, uh, please could they uh, suspend them in England so we can get round the table, negotiate Haven't and try and sort this out. Haven't they better offers than England? Not in Scotland. So in Scotland, they're just at the negotiation stage about the forthcoming pay, pay award. Most average 7.5% pay up so, so in Scotland, they uh, put to the RCN RCN members in Scotland, I think about a 7.58% mm. pay offer. That was rejected by the RCN members in Scotland and that's why the strikes were ongoing. They have since suspended those on talks on the, the new pay award for this forthcoming year. We ask that the same happens in England because every day a strike action happens, it does impact on patients. Nurses have suggested, or certainly nursing leaders have suggested, if they're offered an extra 3% on top of what they've been offered now, that they would look at that, which is exactly what they've been offered in Wales. So they've been offered that in Wales. It's not a full 3% increase. They've been offered 1.5% increase and a 1.5% lump sum, which would not be carried over in, in subsequent years. Um, that well, has to be put to members yet, so we don't know if the members can, in Wales will accept England's that. Can England's nurses expect that? Well, we have been pretty clear that we're not going to, to look at the current year's pay award. That was agreed in April by the unions and by the government and accepted the pay recommendation in full. We really want to focus on the forthcoming pay award, as they're doing in Scotland, um, and that which will recognise a number of issues such as inflation, um, you know, uh, uh, rec recruitment and retention. That, that's factored into the pay review body's recommendations. But why are England's nurses being offered less than those in Scotland and Wales? They're not being offered less uh, than in Scotland. So Scotland's at the negotiation. Why are they being stage. offered less than that, those in Wales? Well, we have to take a responsible uh, view of, about everyone's uh, uh So are they being irresponsible in, in Wales? I'm not, you know, I'm not going to comment on the negotiations in Wales. They haven't been agreed by RCN members. It's been put to the members and we'll know the result of that in the forthcoming days. Members may well reject that in Wales as they did with an 8% uh, pay rise in Scotland. What I can say is that we are, uh, we've got a responsibility to all taxpayers in this country and we've got a range of public sector workers asking 
asking for pay increases. Um, so, and every 1% increase is about £700 million that we have to find uh, to pay for that. Uh, and obviously, we've got COVID backlogs, uh, we've got patients waiting for routine procedures, we've got uh, the, one of the busiest winters we have ever had, with record levels of funding going into the NHS to try and manage services. So um, every percent uh, of a pay increase takes money away Do from that. Do you think that NHS workers are putting lives at risk by going on strike? I think it's a, it's a challenge. Um, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm a nurse and I've, you know, got... I, That's why I, I'm asking you. Yeah, so I, I campaigned when there was a pay cap and a pay freeze um, when we had the Lib Dem uh, coalition government. So, I'm, for, you know, I know how difficult it is to live on a nurse's wage, but also with ongoing strikes... No, that's not my question, though, with respect. Do you think that NHS workers, by going on strike, are putting lives at risk? There's a risk to patients the longer strikes go on. So if you're cancelled for your operation the first time, there's uh, probably a, a minimal risk. If that's cancelled time and time again because of ongoing strikes, then patients become more poorly and there's always a risk. And with ambulance strikes, you know, if someone's not... Um, got to um, if they're having a heart attack or a stroke you know that does increase uh, someone's risk the longer that response time is but being a nurse is a vocation isn't it so um, putting someone's life at risk is completely counter to what you go into nursing for well I don't think any nurses going on strike uh, wanting to put patients at risk and I know that it's been a very hard decision for the majority of nurses and that's why I say to Pat as the RCN have done in Scotland uh, we're very happy to discuss uh, the pay award for the forthcoming year suspend the strikes, let's get back round the table and see if we can resolve this for patients as much as for staff. OK, it doesn't look like it, though, does it? Any time soon? Well, you know, the door is open, the Secretary of State's door is open and we would welcome the RCN in particular uh, coming round the table. They have withdrawn from the independent pay review uh, body process, which is a it's real shame. It's not independent, that's why. Well, I would disagree because there's been times where we've not accepted the independent pay review body's recommendations in years gone by. Um, and so if it wasn't independent, that would not be the case. We did accept it in full um, this year um, and the unions did as well. And, you know, that's the, our, our method of, of getting a pay settlement for the forthcoming year. We need to curtail our interview today, I'm sorry, because of other events. But thank you very much indeed no, for joining us.